hello, hello. Welcome back to Are You Ready for Your Inspection podcast. Today I have a very special guest. Um, I don't know who's more anxious, me about what this person's going to say or Nadia for actually what she is going to say. So Nadia, say who you are and say your job role and where you come from. I'm Nadia Saleem, I'm the Operations Director for Fisherfield Childcare and we have nurseries in, Roch- well, seven settings in Rochdale, Berry, and Middleton. You do, yeah, you do. Okay, so so my question to you is, well, I've, got, I've got a list of questions, so I haven't bribed you on doing this with me, have I? No. <laughs> Much. This is the fir- a first for me. Is it a first? Just for you, Vanessa. Just for me, okay. All right, so my first question is, um, so you have seven settings, all, how many, what's the mileage between them, like roughly, are they all close together? Yeah, yeah. We're only yeah. about 20 minutes from each other. Okay. Yeah. And your job role is what? Tell me what your job role is. Um, Operations director. Officially. Okay, so, I know. If your official title is operations director, what does that entail? Uh, pr- Looking at practice, staffing, things like that. And no that's day. why we need Vanessa's help. No days the same. No, definitely not. No, no. So I've got a list of my questions here. So thank you for being, uh, helping me out here. So... Well, the first question is, what motivated your setting to want to have a quality improvement audit? So we go out and do quality improvement audits, a QIA. We don't call them mock inspections. I don't like the word mock. It scares the pants out of me because of school. I don't like it. It's not. That's not what I want to do. So we call it a QIA, a quality improvement um, audit. So what motivated you to get Jigsaw to come and do it? Um, to be honest, one of our managers, Shamuna at Middleton, loved your TikToks. So we have we we have used companies before for mock inspections, which okay. we, we yeah. you know we're always looking for new people. And she found you. She was like, "We need this lady. We need this lady." And eventually, we went, "Give her the lady. We will get this lady for you." <laughs> And give her the lady and give her a lady again because she's coming back again. Yeah. <laughs> and I even got Shami on uh, TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. Do you want to do a show? No, I did TikTok. You do the podcast. <laughs> so when one of the questions was, what were you anxious about? Now, I can't imagine you ever being anxious. I'm just going to say it out there because I've been up to your setting twice now. So the first one, how long ago was your first one that you had done? God. Has it been a year? I don't, it must have been. God, it's got, has it been a yeah. year? Yeah. I think so, because you've been back to Shami twice. You've been to Middleton twice. It must have been about a year. Oh, my God. So the first so the first one, so you often have mock inspections, so to speak. Yeah, so you want to obviously let Shami have a way and, and go and do a, um, me come up and do a quality improvement audit. Was she anxious, nervous? Was she nervous? Yes, yeah, she was. And I was as well, because I think it's, just you 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 use it as if offset are coming that day. And we liked the fact that you rang before, got the numbers. Oh, you didn't warn me about that, she said, but they did like that. So no, that we were anxious because you always want to know what someone says about your house when they've been there. Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah but it was it was nice. It's 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 a relaxed day. But I do think feedback is i know you said you'll be she'll be she'll be honest. Oh, but no. I think it's an inspect um, a mock inspection, I call it that. That has been the real closest one to an offset inspection. If that makes sense. Oh, really? This as in it's, yeah, you've not told me this. Yeah, so it felt like it was realistic. So it was okay. they felt it was realistic. That is how the day would go, and I think they need, we need that. And why do you think you? Why do you think you need a dress rehearsal then? Why do you think that? But because I could, why do you, why do you think that's important for your group of settings? Just because it lets you highlight, you know, highlight things that would be identified on the day. So you came to our Edinburgh Way nursery, was it three weeks before our inspection? Which oh was, word, which was great because the things you highlighted, we were able to move on and in the feedback, 
and the inspectors were so impressed. They were like, it just shows that you've got courage to move on things, leadership issues that arise. It was fun. Everything that you flagged, they flagged, but we'd already dealt with it. So go back to, did you say Edinburgh Road? Yeah, Edinburgh away. Oh, Edinburgh away. So, yeah. so I went out and did an audit. And then three weeks later, I think I had a, a rambled, uh, was it a voice message or a phone call from me? You never <laughs> believe what. Yeah. We were so shocked, but we were ready. We felt ready. That was perfect that our manager, Lillian, had had that run through. I mean, she's so confident anyway, but it was it was literally mirrored what you'd said on that day, so it was great. Which is great for me, so I'm going to thank you for that because I don't often... That, to me, is like, actually, <laughs> I, I yeah, I'm glad. I know my stuff on it. I can see it. Yeah. And that's the good thing. And then, so... When, when we talk about sharing um, changes, implementing, I mean, one of the things I like is like Shami, I love, do you know what I loved about it is where I've been twice now, the first time she talked about, Shami talked about these food packages that were at the lunch table. I just take it everywhere I go. If there's yeah. one bit I take. And it's the fact that they they share with the children what the food looks like before it's cooked, before it's, you know, what was the process of it. And when I came the first time she did it, and it's quite often when you do it, you go, oh, they're just doing it to show, they're just doing it to show, yeah. But it was so embedded <laughs> that when I went the second time, it was just part of the process. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, that just shows that it's embedded all the time. Yeah. And it was amazing. That was amazing. So what are the changes then that you think, any specific improvements, changes that you have implemented what anything that you can think of um well we changed our planning didn't we to book with a hook although i thought it was my idea yes. and then when Vanessa <laughs> came back she said no no that was my idea and i went oh well it's in my policy it's my idea but yeah so there was that <laughs> planning was that because you listened to steven's uh, podcast was a hook a book with a hook yeah, I need to watch that. I'm not going to lie because I feel I, I made that. And then there was one one thing that was really good was you, you mentioned about the next steps. So yes. we then put next step branches up with the little, the child's picture. Because you said you don't all know them. But again, the inspection at Edinburgh, they loved that. They said, oh, yeah, it's visual. It's there. Yeah. And that's it. That's what you want. You, and you know, with the staffing crisis, not all the time, those staff are going to be there, are they? Yeah. So how much easier would it be that somebody can look on those branches? Because you've got this lovely tree things with your and branches with your next step, which I loved. And it was really clear for them to be able to go. You need to put those next steps on there. Yeah. 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 Um, what about feedback then from your team about experience with um, us going out with Jigsaw going out? Any feedback? Oh God! Oh no! They they just thought it was wonderful. They thought you were wonderful. They are the ones that have not had you yet. When's our turn? I'm like, no, girls, calm down, <laughs> bless them. But no, they share the TikTok videos that are so easy to obviously understand for staff. They constantly share them in their WhatsApp groups that I'm not a part of, to be fair. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, they they said it was a really easy. I mean, everything is quite an honest and, like I said, realistic. Sometimes you can have mock inspection and people give you recommendations and you think we're never gonna do that we haven't got time but i think what they like is it feels like what would happen on an inspection day okay so does it and so advice open to the advice eager for that advice you were happy yeah with that? yeah definitely straight goes on goes straight on development plans it's action straight away yeah yeah that is that's the best way isn't it they don't don't hold back on that yeah yeah um, so if I was to say to you then, would you recommend it and why? Because it's the difference. It's the difference when that inspector comes that you're, you're ready, you know, you know what's going on in your site. You do know it. Sometimes it's about some seeing it from someone else's perspective, isn't it? Yeah, because you're in it. Yeah. Whereas I I'm coming and I'm looking on it. I can yeah. see that outside perspective. Yeah, and also it, it helps the staff, doesn't it, on the day? They're ready as well. Yeah. 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 And actually not all these staff, you're quite confident with Ofsted and inspectors, but not all the time are our staff, are they? Yeah. So mm. it's, it's, it's an, it is a real, honestly, we, how many have we had now? Four? Four? Yeah, you've had four. 
Yeah. And they've all just brought... You're not exactly around the corner either, are you, from me? <laughs> Travelling. I could plan my own week out if I go anywhere. If I'm going to Manchester. <laughs> um, but I do I do love coming to you because I actually know that when I come, you take on board. And actually, you and Lucy said this when she came, because she she did um she came with me on one of the days, didn't she? Because she was yeah. doing assessing. And she said, oh, gosh, I can understand why you get on with them, them both, because you and Nadia have this sparking thing where you'll say something and you'll go, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then I'll say something and I'll go, no, no, no. And you've got this, it's quite an honest and frank conversation. Yeah, which you and have I, as well, which is why we really like it. Yeah, it's quite refreshing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a bit like Mama, aren't I? A bit like love them. Yeah, yeah. Same as same like me, yeah. Same like me, yeah. So if you if anyone then what well, one last question, anyone listening to this, what advice would you give them? In regards to booking a quality assurance. Yeah, definitely. would you go ahead with it? Would you Oh definitely, yeah. Even one just one. You you'd only need one and it, it's the, it's a huge difference, isn't it, to the one when three weeks later we, we fix those things ready for offset. I can't believe they said the same things, which makes me laugh. Because then you, and then you just proved that you were doing it and why you were doing it. Yeah. And then I was like, see, Vanessa, she can come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Vanessa's going on holiday to Manchester. Yeah. Uh, um, any questions you want to ask me? Anything? No, no, no. Just thank you, as oh. always. This is the, now I'm going to say, I'm going to be really honest. This is the quietest I've ever known you to be. This is this is the first for me, Vanessa. And the last, only for you. I don't do things like this. <laughs> I'm going to uh, say goodbye to you. So thank you very much for joining me on this podcast. I really do appreciate it because I know when I said this to you, you were just like, this is really out of my comfort zone. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, thank you. No worries. You've ticked a box. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you very much for listening to Are You Ready For Your Inspection podcast. If you're interested in any of our services or quality improvement audits, please give us a shout or email me, vanessa at jigsaweyc.com. And I'll speak to you next week.